I asked Wolf, I actually need to explain to you what a Matryoshka is. Oh, yeah, because I... Just... <laughs> the little dolls generally made of wood or clay or... or porcelain in the case of, well, the ones we had, ivory. Where they're smaller dolls inside of a larger doll. And generally in the in the deepest one, you you store something else. Fairly small, maybe a ring or a gem or maybe an earring. Something like that. Huh. Ooh, so, that yes. Was... You know, that actually sounds kind of nice. I wonder if you could find one in those old ruins or something. Do you have one? No, no, of course I did not bring one. They are nice to look at, but there was no need for me to bring one here. Did you have one back home? Oh yes, we had a few. My mother liked them. She kept a few of them. As, as there's a look on Wolf's face right now, as he might may have to head to the art room after this. <laughs> this book becomes the Matryoshka Master. He's got a great demonstration of what one is from Bill. <laughs> also, just before we pan away from the scene, who's all getting coins so I can write it down? So well, it might make how it many coins are we everyone getting? Everyone but Ash. Four. Four. So, yeah, if Ash doesn't everyone want hers, but... everyone but Ash. Okay. That's which, fine. Which I can, I'll tell you how many I have, but. <laughs> you have one, I one. believe. No! I have seven. Oh, yeah, you do. I have many. Because Wolf hasn't got around to selling them a six shot, so. Three. At some point, I shall sell them and be rich! As rich as Silas! <laughs> and Wolf have no idea what to do with his money. I mean, when I trade these in eventually, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this money. I can have it. <laughs> In fairness, in fairness, so you're also like part dragon, you're like, you're happy to set on a hoard, I imagine. Possibly. I haven't quite decided what he will be hoarding, but it will be shiny. <laughs> I mean, gold seems as good of a hoard as nothing else. Yeah, but gold is like very stealable by certain people, looks directly at Aaron. What? <laughs> <laughs> he just steals mirrors because they're the shiniest. I mean, he probably does. I mean, did I give him a hand mirror? No, no, he doesn't have a hand mirror yet, but he will. I think better stay away from my mirrors. But they're big and shiny. Look at how shiny they are, cast daylight. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, dear. <laughs> I would like I would like to make an untrained Rejoiceka doll check. Oh, Maybe would probably would crap, working crap. check. More crap Matryoshka. Uh, since I already have my class slots filled, I'm just going to use artistry, but same thing. So. Yeah, I'll leave up. It comes out semi okay? Comes out average, yeah. yeah it certainly looks it like, like the person, I guess. I know, I'll paint them. Hey, dude, slightly better at painting. Slight slightly. Look, it's average work, but technically doesn't fail. I mean, so, you could put it on the Etsy store. Yeah, it, it's a C. Maybe well, a C plus. I'd also like to point out that this is going to take you a week to finish. Depends We're actually, using different... That also depends how much it costs, because if it's cheap enough, I can finish it in a day. That's yeah, true. Fair enough. Sure, and it's a wooden Matryoshka, so it's probably a few copper. A wooden Matryoshka being made by an amateur, so yes. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. You know, I, uh, I, will, I will spend a whole two copper coins on this. Lavish. Because then that now puts me down to five copper coins, which is far more reasonable. I've got, I've got, I've got, I haven't set it all to my multiples of five. This, this is... Wolf's compulsion, apparently. No, this is the game's compulsion. Invisible by five. Oh. Oh, this is Darky's compulsion. That's fair. Uh, I like the music, which isn't ABBA. <laughs> if you change your mind! It's actually SOS. <laughs> um, 
yeah, Wolf, Wolf, is, Wolf is happy, and then though admittedly doesn't really like once we cut the coin, he heads off to the workshop. You guys don't see him then probably until like late evening because he spends probably the entire rest of the day mm. making a lot more choices. I mean, if y'all need music, I can't recommend this playlist enough. If Discord will ever send a fucking message today. No. Uh, <laughs> it has to be a bit weird. I tried some Big B free messages and none of them went through, but thankfully I got the answer I needed. Did I purposefully send like that was mysterious? Yes. I mean, of course. It's covered. I, I'm more worried about what you sent me. Oh god, yeah, no, I can't. What did I send you? Do you know what you sent me? Oh, that thing. Right, okay. <laughs> Ooh, Discord just stinks and shit. Okay. But, yeah. yeah. Go with roll 20 instead. I know. No, it's just because I tried to like open chat logs to us at Tinder. It's like, oh, right, okay. Big B's right here. <laughs> yeah. Congrats on your victory. Unless anyone has anything pressing to do, uh, <gasps> we'll roll over to the next day and we can actually learn who wins. Yay! Yes, Edlin. No, I'm just saying, neat. Oh, I thought you said wait. <laughs> <laughs> May I, may I recover my rounds of rage? Yes. No. You, I you will take a... a rest. Actually, as it uh, goes to night time, can you all roll me perceptions? Oh, oh god, I'm my it. rage. Mm -hmm. I swear to god, if someone comes in and steals my shit, I will break them. Uh, I will also note, if this is for th uh, theft, uh, um, mm -hmm. Rusty is always awake and is always yes. next to me. No, by the way, Wolf currently has, has Wolf, is, Wolf currently has his hammer with him. <laughs> wow, Aaron doesn't care. Aaron anyway. is the most paranoid person in the <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah, no, by the way, but what Wolf might have his hammer basically besides him in uh, beside like next to the bed. Coins, I have no idea. By the way, J Mac, I would uh -huh. I would just like to point out that um knowing Ash, there's probably like a bell on their door but that's also probably common knowledge so it would probably be a very simple disable device check to actually open Ash's that's door that's assuming it's but... the break-in it's also yeah. true yeah, it turns out happy. it isn't at all but you know it could be people fighting downstairs for a week now. yeah I be you're close Wolf uh Sadly, I had to send you something very specific later, however, Discord is, as we have noted, having a shit. But thankfully, it's yeah, not terribly no, important I, right I would now. love to send you a private message right now, Jamek, because there's something I just thought of that I would like Prismelli to be able to do, but... And you can whisper me in-game. Yeah. Slash WGM. Uh, okay. It's just that the thing I have for Sadly is a bit overarching. But uh, I will... I, could, I guess I could just send you a message, but... You Chances can also are just if you do. I I not mm, terribly uh, thought sequence. Okay, fine. Nah, it's fine. I'll tell you. You notice Mary going out in the middle of the night. Oh, okay. Um, if you like purposefully stay up, she doesn't come back for a while. Okay, I'll make note of that. Um. I'll probably get up and peek out a window in stealth to make sure she doesn't notice where she goes, just to check where, like, what direction she's going. Sure. I mean, that's pretty easy considering the balcony that like overlooks the entire building. Yeah. Uh, she heads, let's see, looking at the campus map, she heads north past the school. Uh, okay, knowing who Marie is, can I make a sense motive check quick? Go for it, but what are you specifically trying to sense? Is she walking normally? Or oh, is she go for it. Like having like a vision trip here. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Most paranoid person ever. Uh, well, she is. I, I'm starting to call bullshit here. <laughs> we'll, we'll try roll twenty luck as a match. But um, she specifically like put on a cloak and like a pair of boots. And she's kind of like flipped up to kind of shield against the wind that's kind of just blown over the valley. Yeah, she seems, well, she doesn't seem like she's, she's obviously acting weird, but she isn't acting compulsed. Okay. I'll leave her a note. 
Bam. Uh, yeah, Aaron's just going to write a little note to her and leave it on the bed. And that's it. Okay. Aaron's tired. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, with everyone else's perception, yeah, you indeed notice this night is a bit rambunctious. Maybe not even particularly like shouting, but you can, as you're kind of going about your stuff, like just in the night, yeah, there's a lot of people up and about. Why will they not stay quiet? You mean you don't have your customary uh, sleeping mask and earbuds? He has a mask, he doesn't have earbuds. I, I use this as a great excuse to make my midnight bacon snack. I suppose, actually, Aaron, late in the night, would also still be working on the fridge until she really needs to fall asleep. So you guys also hear the sound of, like, spot welding and alchemy going on downstairs. <laughs> Apparently everybody's just not sleeping. I mean, I'll sleep, it's just I'm working till I need to sleep. Yeah. Ippos People is trying to sleep. To us up. Yeah, Ippos is trying to sleep, but someone's welding directly beneath his bedroom, and direct beneath his bedroom just feels wrong. Like, why? Why would someone create such a thing directly beneath his room? <laughs> it's almost like she did it on purpose. Almost. Okay, but other than that, as far as you're aware, nobody comes into your room. Nobody even really comes into the dorm who you don't already expect to be within the dorm. Dun, dun, dun. But the night passes, perhaps not quietly, but it does pass. So loud. So wrong. In the morning, when you, perhaps maybe not early when you wake up, but whenever you wake up, you notice on the notice board there's actually, well, a notice. It's basically saying, for the results of the tournament, uh, they're being announced in the middle of Merchant's Lane. Hmm. Those yeah. who think they have won are required to attend, because, well, you might have won. Aaron, we'll get up. Stretch. Question, though, what of, what of the, um... Uh, quiz results. The winners of that. Nothing is mentioned there, but you would imagine if they're announcing any fuck, if they're announcing anything, it'll be the where they announce the winner. Uh, fine, we shall. Let's go. Damn it, druids don't get alarm. Nope. Okay, Matt. Yes. Given this event is going on at the um, is going on at the merchants uh, like merchants lane, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. It's just a little bit. Uh, I imagine Sherry's Cafe may be busy for breakfast. Can we work in the breakfast shop? Yes. If you want to do that, you can also make twice the amount of money as people come for pancakes, pancakes, warm food, and tea. I will, yes. do I will double the result of this. <laughs> Yay, a golden a bit. Oh, two golden a bit, then. Oh, three, three golden yeah, 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 I was going to say it's three golden a bit. Because that is over 1.5. Yeah. I'm assuming most of everyone is going to go to yes. the announcement. Yes. Okay. When you get there, yeah, you notice there's not a lot of people here yet. Piers, uh, with all the shit that's been going on in the night, uh, it's kind of quiet. Where Steve is standing basically in the middle of the, uh, wherever the fuck this thing is, the fountain -y thing, it's just like a bit like, oh, this happens every year. What, the lack of people? Aaron calls up. Yeah, everyone's like running about in the night like cats. It's annoying. I'm trying to sleep. I can understand I that. Agreed. Like, you're all essentially adults. I don't want to like, have to be like, okay, you have to go to bed. It's nine o'clock now, but oof, you may be tempted. <laughs> Uh, yes, they're very... Maybe a, perhaps a silent loud. campus once, you know, finals come around? 
Not a bad idea. I think I'll keep that in mind. Um, Aaron. Aaron. Right. We haven't met before. Wink. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron does shout that too. Mm. <laughs> It's, it's too early for people to entertain your whatever the fuck this is, so we don't really pay attention. Yeah. Boom. Token. Anyway, uh, it's probably about early afternoon-ish when everyone, like, a sizable enough crowd turns up that Rest of Eve actually bothers uh, to begin the announcements. I'm so glad you could all finally join us! <sighs> Anyway, on to the announcements. I'm sure you're all very eager to learn whether or not you have won, or if you have won at specific of the challenges which announce, uh, which results have not been announced yet, and I will be starting with those. <laughs> I thought that said about winking. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to be sorry, that's funny. Let's see, she flips open a letter. The winner of Sherry's Cafe Challenge is one. What's your fucking second name? <laughs> Out of character. No, no, Out that's in character. character. <laughs> no, no. Robert Massey. Massey. Mass. 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 He's very Massey. large. It's Mass. <laughs> Fair enough. Robert Mass. <laughs> There's like some kind of spread. Yay. Well, it's not very much. Uh, Robert appears out of the crowd and uh, goes up to her. She hands him a capsule very similar to the one that you've seen between ways. And he kind of uh, awkwardly walks off to the side as everyone stares at him and he is not very comfortable. Now, the winner of the library challenge is one... Mary Dean. She here? Mary? I, I tap Mary on the shoulder as she's not. Oh, is she not here? She. What you do see is her kind of like running from the dorm direction. She's a bit disheveled, but she has her hand up. It's like, me, me, that's me, sorry, I'm late. She goes up and receives a capsule as well. I feel like I'm saying that with the lips. Lisp. A little bit. Capsule. I, I clap. And then she comes over, and I'll lean over and say, have fun time last night? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Wink. Wink. I don't know I'm <laughs> winking. I... But Mary will stand next to you and listen to her announcements. Uh, I believe that's all from that part, which brings us to the winners. Tell me, is anyone feeling confident? Ipos raises Mary his raises hand. hand. <laughs> so okay, that's like, that's like five of you. That's, that's I, a number, I guess. I like to imagine if us and Ivan raise their hands at the same time, like look at each other. Yes. Yeah, look at each other, and there's that thing with like lightning going between their eyes. Literally. No, I'm just imagining Ipos is shooting literal lightning, and Aaron just has a gadget going haywire. <laughs> no, Aaron is literally like tightening one of her grenades. <laughs> She's doing... <laughs> winding one of her grenades for the day. Well, let's do this a little bit more dramatically. And she waves her hands, appears to incant a spell. And for those of you who have, basically, depending on the amount of coins you have, you're glowing. The more coins you have, the brighter you are. Uh, Epos, Aaron, you two are both fucking blinding. <laughs> <laughs> you two are, bas are pretty much the brightest people here, except one other person. Oh. A girl. Who you might recognize. Marie? Do, do I recognize no. her? Who is she? I can't remember if you would. She's the person who shot at Aaron. Oh, uh, that bitch. I do not remember these events. I don't know if you're there, so that's fair enough. She is, however, not... Uh, she's glowing brightly, but not as brightly as you two. <laughs> There's obviously a few other people who are glowing brightly. Some people you recognize, some people you don't, but... 
Rusty looks at you two. Oh well. Appears you two are almost very, very close. Very, very close indeed. Tell me. See it so, you know, dramatically. Of course. What's the part of it's a show? Come yeah. on, Aaron. All right, I don't fine. Know. Going upstairs. Hi. Yep. Go with us. Yep. Yep. It was follows. Uh, I'm afraid only one of you can be the winner. This year has been. It was winner. Um. We shall see. As she says, Epos, or young Epos, how many coins did you manage to gather? He sort of pulls them out, out of his pockets, puts them all in a single bag, looks in it, holds it out to the person, and says, how much is, how much this? And he's holding out a bag with 31 coins. Yep, which is what I thought my calculations came up to. And you, young Erin, how many did you gather? Uh, 32. Which Fucking bitch! You had like that what way. eighteen last <laughs> last time you played. Yes. How did you get thirteen in an afternoon? Wait, is Silas glowing at all? Silas is completely. Oh, you fucking bitch! <laughs> you two purposely did this just so I wouldn't win. No, no, no. no. no we you, didn't. you did. You did. In fairness, though. This is called doing the king kingmaker. Mm -hmm. I have eight coins. I could have made you win instead. Right, sorry, I had to take a drink here. I also managed to drop my lid somewhere on the floor. Good job. By the way, you all notice Ash is completely not glowing as well. Well, yeah, oh, you bought all your shit on clothes. All the yep. <laughs> all the gently glowing out of the bar. Well, it appears we have a winner. Aaron Silversmith. Silverwick, not Silver Smith. Silverwick, same thing. Smith is my job. Uh, anyway, she wins. And there's uh, another weak grand applause. Right, because they're like, oh, yay, thanks, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I tried so hard. No. Young Aaron, um, as for your reward, I had to invite you to my house. For I believe, well, I'm sure this is something you would rather do privately. Yeah, yes. She um, hops off the, uh, whatever the fuck the thing is called, Fenton. Aaron will fall. Her house, as you have vaguely been alluded to, is literally this one that's like right outside the school. She invites you inside. Yeah. I have a map for this. It's not great. I can't do houses. Too bad they're ninety percent of D and D. Yeah, because people <laughs> live in them. E. Rusty. I need you. Nope. Move on. Thank you. Nope. Fuck it. And she invites you inside. Her house is a bit weirdly shaped. I don't know if you expect that or not. She's a eccentric, so. She's a gnome. Wait, is she gnome? I thought she was. Yeah, she's a gnome. She's small. Well, I, I got. I knew she was small. I just thought she was like a halfling or something. No, no. no. I have to be like pumping my gnome rep. She kind of invites you inside. She's like, "Come in, come in. Ignore my sacrificial blood altar. I didn't have time to clean up." Uh, yeah, sure. I will do that. I mean, to be fair, uh, ignore my, you know, vest laced with various carcinogens. I feel like those two aren't really measurable, but okay. What, Carson? Is the blood altars? No. Yeah, I mean, would, you, like would you like some biscuits? Biscuits are good. I have not had breakfast. I can't believe you sidelined bringing carcinogens around. You're trying to give everyone cancer? <laughs> Aaron, uh, Aaron is confirmed. just taking a look at the blood altar. Like, what? 
Uh, roll my perception. Sure. I I'm just imagining basically like this dragonfly looking um smoking pipe that walks around on little legs and empties itself from of ash. Oh my god, Darren, she's killed someone. Right. No. Okay, that's fine. I might be having one of the drawing tools now. On second glance, it's probably just tomato juice. Uh, right. <laughs> But she, she, you notice she clambered up this ladder, which apparently leads to the other side of her house. Mm. But she comes back with some biscuits and places some on the table. Please I, sit. I am, but sure. Aaron just pulls sure. Rusty up to the table and I, uses Rusty as a chair, so she doesn't have to get down, pull her crutches out, move to a chair, and sit down. I, oh, yeah. there she is. I was gonna say I don't actually see Aaron, but yeah. <laughs> Advanced stealth, stealth technique. technique. She, she was inside uh, Rusty's compartment. No. Um, okay, I suppose you can sit like that. You have a choice. As is everything within this school, essentially, we will find out is a choice. She, from the a. Red pill or the blue pill? Yes. From out under her table, you're not entirely sure where. She pulls out three small boxes. Okay. Oh god, this school has a loot box system. Burn it, burn it to the ground. I mean, did you not get that from the Gatchapon? Yes, I know, but this is a literal box. Sure. Can I know It's a joke! Laugh! Never. I've had too many face cramps today to laugh. Anyway, yes, sir? Uh, can I know the contents? You can indeed. Uh, I do have to add, this does come with a caveat. You pick one of these, or you or you trade in all your coins for one of these, or you keep your coins. Oh. I'll give you a hint. The items are a lot better than the coins. Got it. Okay. But she pushes them over for you to open. Yeah, I'll look inside. Uh, Romeo, one, two, three. Uh, okay. The first box you open, there is. Don't say your star of David because that's the wrong star. There is kind of a six pointed star. However, the pieces making up the star are fragmented. Where Steve Kev leans over and goes, Ah, the first one you have opened is the Ion Star. Long ago, this fell from the plane of dreams through the astral sea and hit the material plane. It took a long time for us to gather its parts, and should you choose it, it could be yours. Um, uh, if you don't mind, like, can I just take a little bit longer look at these? Then I, I don't know if there's yeah. like a duration I can look at these. No, you can. Let me take your time. I was also going to tell you what we do. Oh well, then that would be a lot more convenient. <laughs> she closes the box and slides it forward. <laughs> Come on, I have to be dramatic. And do you want to know what that one did, or do you want to see what the other selections are? I would like to know what they are, as I can open boxes. Okay. Also, who do we lose? Big B? Wow, that's a first. Ah. Yeah, no, he, uh, completely died off the face of the internet. Neat. Discord, no. Uh, what? what do you mean? Uh, no, like not entirely. He's still on Steam, which means it's probably just his Discord dying. Yeah, he's missioning Rule 20. It's fine. He could be caught up on item things. Uh, which box do you open next, left or right? Uh, well, I mean, can I get an explanation of what these stars are? Uh, I mean, of the allure of a mystery. This star, all the pieces are linked together. No matter where they go, plain or otherwise, they'll always be able to find one another. Um, here. She taps one of them and it starts to float around her. And you? I'll help tap one. And much like an iron stone, it just begins to float a gent- oh God, they'll wow. be down one by one. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. Who's next? Keep going! Yeah, I guess. Uh, as the star begins to float around you, you feel vague feelings from Rest Eve. Okay. That is one of the things. You'll always be able to feel what another wielder of Aeon Star is feeling. 
and in the great times of need, you can call upon their aid. I... I... try to activate it? Uh, select me one of the saves, Fort Willer Reflex. Uh... Fort. You feel just a well, like a wealth of health. It appears to be coming from Rest Eve. I actually don't know what her fort save is. But, out of character, the star has a once per day function. You can use a save of any other person linked with the stars. Hmm. That's just plus seven. So yeah, she, you feel healthy. Yeah, compared to my plus two. <laughs> plus wolf save it was. Aaron will reach up and grab the star. That's certainly interesting. Every one of these items are special. Artifacts, you might say. And each of them have a story that hasn't yet to be, has not yet to be completed. That's oh, so you the may value. not know the entire uh, function. Or do you? I don't know. Eh, they, their stories haven't folded out all the way. It's up to you to discover them. Which is where the true value in these lies. Man, it must hey. be hard for you to hold on to these things and not look into them more. Eh, it's not my job. Fair I was enough. banned from handling magic items after the event. I will want to press on that later. It's not really true. No. Well, I suppose. Ah, got ya. Damn it. She says as she opens up in the next box. Uh, next box. I feel kind of bad continuing whenever people died, but this is also technically secret. Yeah. Uh, the next box you open contains... Uh, left or right, I suppose, actually. Right. Right. The next box you open contains a blood-red compass. Within the circ... There isn't actually, like, the, um... The spinny metal bit in the middle. There's just a single drop of blood. Or what appears to be blood. I see you made this recently, she says, yeah. gesturing over to the altar behind her. Yes, it's the compass that always leads you to the largest source of tomato soup. No, this is the heart's compass. Very, you know, well named. It always points to what the heart desires. Um. Right, that's... Uh, it's a bit intentionally that. vague, but, I mean, you could give it a go. I already know where that is. I mean, I have character to say, the way this compass works is a bit like the uh, hero point, uh, ask for a clue sort of thing. Once a week, you can basically ask for advice on, like, to be guided to an objective, and the compass will point there. Unless there's nothing fitting it, in which case it will just spin until something appropriate pops up. Aaron sighs, holds up the old, uh, the needle thing, and looks at it a bit. I, I imagine know. it points directly towards the primary school building. Well, you don't actually have to use the thing. If you don't actually, like, will it a question, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Steve's like, come on, think of something. It isn't very flashy, but still, what would you do? I... Where did my roommate wander off last night? Uh, it points the, 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 the direction you saw her leave. North. Hmm. Well, now I have two points of data, I can at least try to triangulate it. The compass continues pointing until you find the thing as well, which is where the nice part is. Hmm. Admittedly, it's not foolproof, but it's pretty good. Yeah, fair enough. That's uh, certainly interesting. Last item, last yep. item, go Erin. Does she open yes. the box? The last box contains a quill with a golden finish. Oh. Except when you pick it up. Huh. Is this silver? No, it's copper. Tungsten? Okay, this is certainly interesting. That is the Ur Ur I can't say this word right. Usurper's pen. Usurper's? Quill. 
you you usurp yes usurper yes the usurper's pen I don't mean to alarm you Steve but perhaps you could go to one of your lone linguistics classes that would be that would be a very much effective thing if you didn't fumble that sentence halfway through yeah I know I'm going to one <laughs> the usurper's quill you can take someone else's words and make them your own it was the quill of a long forgotten writer who never wrote his own a story of his own but stole others until he eventually became a lie himself that is certainly interesting of a story it's foreboding it's certainly foreboding god i hate plagiarism <laughs> out of character uh this quill has a few benefits for uh, one of them is that you Instead of waiting until to roll the opposed linguistics check with someone whenever we detect a forgery, uh, you roll at the moment of creation. So you know the quality of a forgery. Oh, okay. In addition, I don't know how to save this up properly, so I'm just gonna send it to you. I spent a lot of time writing this. Let's try and make sure it didn't sound too weird. Probably so it was gonna sound weird. It's totally but, gonna uh, sound weird. Yeah. Oops. Okay, never mind. Basically, you can command another person's summon or compo compelled creature. Kind of like how you would with charm person, but instead you use intelligence. Oh. No, it says once per day you can alter a magical effect that requires a creature act in a very specific way. Jay Matt. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of noticing that a effect that allows like cause the creature act in a specific way would also include confusion. Perhaps. As you just get to write the story of what that person does. Amongst other things. And then Wolf hit himself around the head. Oh my gosh, okay. These are all very unique. Um, Aaron is going to want to roll engineering on this to identify magical items. Go for it. No, this isn't actually um, like a detect magic effect, so they cannot blind me. <laughs> okay. We don't set your skin on fire as you touch them. Correct. As you touch from they certainly register as magical items. Currently they're... that was scary. Currently they're quite weak ones. However, you do sense that they're a bit kind of like a cup. They have a lot of space to fill in. Ah, I see why you give these to students. Uh, a lot of people end up becoming very frustrated with them, which... I mean, I can sort of understand. Not every item is certain necessarily fit for a person. Right. Have any specifically caught your eye? The ion stones are interesting. I'll certainly say that. Uh, I'll admit, I did cut a few deals to actually win, so I don't want to walk away from a situation without being able to make sure that my win didn't support them as well. Rest of just kind of goes, take your time. Can you also roll my perception check? Yeah. Also, what's that supposed to say? Secret Och? Secret Duck. Oh, Duck. Mm, start of the day, sure, why not? Okay, this will be a 21. Uh, Aaron, mm -hmm. something odd happens. Which has okay. basically been the kind of catch line of your time at school. However, something the something odd you notice is there's a fourth box. Um Aaron will reach out and grab the fourth box. You can reach out and grab the fourth box. Do you open it? Yeah. Wait, a creature jumps out and eats your face. 
If that was a trap, you're being too greedy. No. As you open the fourth box, Restive doesn't actually seem to take any notice of you doing anything, weirdly enough. But inside is a wrench. Um. It's not very fancy. It's almost as if you just walked into a random tool shed box thing and just picked out any old wrench. She's not noticing me do anything, right? No. There's also something else in the box. Oh? There's a piece of paper with a winky face. Oh. Is the wrench magic? I can... Yes. Much in the same way that all these other items are. What it does... Uh, Roman engineering. Twenty six. As you do, you feel very ill. Not harmfully ill. But uh, this something about the wrench is a little bit weird in your mind. Oh. Very literally weird in your mind. And that the fact that it seems to be more wrench than a wrench really should be. Okay. <laughs> Got more wrench features than any wrench has ever had. Multi wrench. Yeah, essentially. You think this isn't entirely an object. Got it. Whatever that means, you're not quite sure. Unfortunately, metaphysics was never really up on your list of things no, to study. No, magic is... I'm not good at magic to begin with. <sighs> Aaron will tap a command on the side of Rusty. Uh, drop the wrench. Rusty will grab the wrench, and he'll just keep it in his mouth. Uh, okay. I, because I'm, because receive... It's not noticing anything I'm doing right now, right? No. While you're handling the wrench, she notices nothing. You can see what I'm trying to do, right? Sorta. I do need to say out of character, but if you hand the wrench to Rusty, she seems to notice. And she goes, oh, you made a choice? Uh... No, I'm just testing something. Oh, okay. Take your time. She munches on a biscuit. So all of these cost all of my coins, right? I'm afraid yes, but in reality it's... Well, think about it. You have, what, 33 coins? Uh, That's 100... Thirty-two. That's one thousand six hundred odd gold pieces. And the most I've had in my life, yeah. Okay, there is, and that's indeed the factor. But, well, look at it this way. These are investments. I won't say that there haven't been students before who don't take an item, but it is exceedingly rare. So these are the three I have to choose from. She, uh, as you mentioned, free. She like blinks one eye at a time. Yeah. Sans motive. Uh, I can tell you even now, even if you were to roll a one, shit's whack. Like, please good no. or Tender. bad whack. Uh, not a good whack. But not necessarily bad, but definitely not good. Did you roll a sense mode? I'm going to. Uh, hmm. It's almost as if she's got the information entering her brain, but isn't making it there. So it's being suppressed? Kinda. Almost as if someone was like, Madging a camera feed and just actively hitting delete. 
but like also pressing the button very quickly and it's not exactly the most like efficient process ignore the very loud sneezes in my background mechanically jmac yes i'm gonna try to sleight of hand this and get it out with two okay is that possible the wrench, she's not seeing, right? I'm going to try to put it away. And I want to say the ion stones. Okay, go for it. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Twenty six. As okay. As you do so, you hear a whisper in your ear. But you'll owe me. Deal. You get whatever feeling a winky face would kind of just infuse yourself with, and you can quietly put the wrench away somewhere, and you can take the iron stone stars. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking I'm going to go with those ion stars. I don't want to leave one of my friends disappointed that I wasn't going to be able to, you know, pay them back. Yeah. But so I want to be able to share stuff with them. After all, I think it would be good. So yeah, I'll go with the ion stones, Razid. Good choice. Those are one of those items that will build a good team. Yeah, I, I think so. Well, they're yours to take, and may I have your coins? Yeah, here. Um, Aaron will. Oh, uh, give me a second here. Aaron takes uh, out the black coin and puts it away in her vest, and then hands over the rest of the gold. Oh yeah, you should definitely keep a hold of that. Yeah, that's a uh, a bit of a important thing. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be good. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your victory, young Aaron and companion. Rusty. Uh, yeah. Rusty. Um, if you don't mind me asking, while I'm here, uh, did you find anything else out about that? Ooh? Um, I'm afraid that is classified information. However, it should no longer be a problem. We have dealt with where it came from. That feels like you are saying things out of a case of uh, I'm required to say this simply to reduce panic in this. I mean, the school has secrets, Aaron. I have oh, to like secrets, protect. But I also, all of them. Aaron goes into her vest and pulls out a. Mostly complete teleportation circle blueprint, but it's also laying its secrets around everywhere. That does fit. I mean, you are now technically one of its secrets. Woo! Ooh, Not really. Yeah. Well, kind of. fine. If it becomes a problem, and... what? Oh, sorry. I am hiding from the mafia, so I am technically a school secret. Good to know. That's yeah. Um. Uh, be careful of anyone who's coming over from Silverwick. Uh, uh Silvermount. Yeah, it's a bad place. Um, good to know. Yeah. Uh, but like, if there is any issues which will impact the students, we will take the actions most pre precedent, prudent, prudent to protect the students. Right. I I appreciate that. I just figured I would be able to, you know, figure out more about it because I was the one who murdered it. So, eh, but it's fine. Okay. And I did prevent anyone from learning out anything about it from my dorm, even though I used some of its organs. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it had a very good ammonia content, so I was able to make a refrigerator for a uh, uh, dorm. Well, that's enough weirdness for one day. Um, yeah, I think so. You should go tell your friends for good news. Yeah, I think I will. Thank you. I had to go clean up all the snow on the other side of my room. I'm not sure why that's been made. <laughs> your house is very strange. You do also realize I can also make you a door so you don't have to go up a ladder. That's fun, though. How many houses do you have that have a ladder in them? Eh? Uh, none. I can't climb ladders. Okay, fair enough. That was a bad choice. Yeah. I'm gonna go before you keep digging yourself a hole. That's fair. I do that a lot. Goodbye, Aaron. Bye. Oh, no. Consumed. 
on a giant ice cube. Oh, I can't delete my own snow now. Ah, uh, sucker. <laughs> the snow is forever in the house. Oh, you'll, yeah, you'll just delete my drawing. I hope you like my ice, though, and my snowman. <laughs> it is very good. I also like the cube. I enjoy drawing 3D cubes in Rule 20. Depends, I can draw cubes just fine. I wasn't so good at drawing the snowflake. <laughs> I tried. That's fair. It looks snowflakey. Every snowflake is unique. This is <sighs> Aaron will leave and head back to the dorm, where I assume other people have gone, because she's probably spent a lot of time in that building, uh, analyzing the- Uh, well here comes the awkward part about Big B and Torrin are still dead. Right. <laughs>